everyone, so welcome back. Um, I wanted to show you this finished look when I finished it immediately, but because I had to go and I was in a rush today, I am not back home and I'm showing you. So basically, this is how my hair turned out. Like, it's basically in singles. I want to kind of come closer. Excuse the sweat, it's so hot right now. But, um, you can see it's pretty long. Let me stand up right there and um, basically I just did my hair in singles I parted it it's not perfect but it's nice um, and then and with the ends I just left them kind of curly as is I didn't really twist them I didn't you know um, put any rubber bands I just left them and this you know this is how my hair stays I don't have to do much but the products I used to achieve this look is first I oiled my hair with the essential 17 that I this is what I always use like every time I wash my hair I try to put this on and then I used um, the coconut hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie. I used this because I ran out of my normal leave-in conditioner and this works. So I used this. And then I used my favorite product for any twist, braids, whatever. I always use the TGIN. This is like tried and true. Um, and this is the twist and define cream with coconut oil and vitamin E. I love this stuff. I'll do a review on this because this stuff is like the bomb. And then also just to like, you know, do my edges and like also with the ends just to put a little bit there. I use the Curl Bliss, Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, which looks like this. I have another one just like it because um, that one's running out and this is the Passion Fruit. But it's the same same brand, same line, it's just a different um, flavor, I guess you can call it. But yeah, so the reason why I did this style is because it is so hot. As you can see, I'm like sweating. But... Um, you know, I needed a really pretty style that would look good that I can style in different, you know, ways throughout the week um, without having my hair down because having your hair down in this heat is just a torture, you know? So I just did this really quickly. Um, ideally, I can do it better if I, you know, wasn't pressed for time, but I did this in like less than two hours. I think maybe an hour and 30 minutes. Um, it took me to do this whole thing. And, um,. I'm going to be able to style it different ways throughout the week. So I'm going to be keeping you guys posted with that, posting videos, posting pictures on Instagram. Um, just, you know, stay tuned for that. But this is how I definitely do my hair when it gets hot like this. Um, just to refresh, I did do a protein treatment slash deep conditioning treatment last night that I did overnight. I woke up this morning, ran some errands, and then I washed it out. And then I proceeded to do this style. So... It's just basic singles. You can do the same style with twist. You can do the style with other, you know, corn rolls. Um, so yeah, that's how I did it. And I'm gonna put a clip of a little bit of how I did it. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this look. I think I really like it. It's like really nice. Um, and yeah, it's very simple. So let me know what you guys think. Bye. Okay, guys. So I just got out the shower and I rinsed out my deep conditioning slash protein treatment. I have a video of that whole routine that you guys can check out after this that I'll link in the description box or in the video. So go ahead and check that out and let me know what you guys think. Um, so the first thing that I do after doing all that is grab my Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil by Alaka Naturals and I apply this to my scalp and massage to help with hair growth. I do this after I shower for the most part just so I can you know, restore oils and whatnot into my hair and then I begin first to section off my hair and I work on one half at a time and I first put in the curl enhancing smoothie by Shea Moisture. Um, the reason why I'm actually using this product is because I actually ran out of my Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner by the same company. Um, so ideally you want to grab a leave-in conditioner that's a little bit more lightweight than the curl enhancing smoothie. And I'm just using a brush to distribute that product and also detangle my hair. My ends were really, um, I guess just, you know, matted. So it took a little bit of work there, as you guys saw. And then I'm gonna go in next with my white tooth comb just to, you know, furthermore detangle. And I believe the next thing that I did was um, section my hair off one more time, just so I'm working with a smaller section. In this smaller section, I'm going to apply my um, tried and true favorite, favorite, favorite product when it comes to productive styles, and that is my uh, TGIN um, Twist and Define Cream. 
I love this stuff. I'm gonna definitely make a review on this stuff because honestly, I've tried so many products um, to do similar things and this one was by far the best. And uh, I guess the next tool I'm using is the Denman brush. This is gonna help really, really, really make sure that every single strand of hair is covered with that product. And um, I'm also gonna go in with the Echo Styler Gel. I always use gels personally because I find that it helps preserve protective styles like this and it just keeps everything looking smooth um, one thing I didn't do that I wish I had done was really focus on my roots because um, it's gonna keep the style looking crisp on the root area too so uh, the next thing that I did was you know just, just grab a smaller section of hair and this is where I'm gonna begin braiding um, I just grabbed three strands. You can see that I'm trying to find like the perfect, you know, amount of hair to work on the braid because I didn't want it too thick or too thin. Um, but then, like I said, because I was pressed for time, I was trying to like find that that balance. And it's a basic single, you know, you know, three strand braid. Um, I'm pretty sure most of us know how to do that. If you guys don't, I can definitely do a tutorial. But I didn't want to be redundant or you know excessive with my explanation, so. I'm just working on these braids. Now mind you, I'm not going to do a whole full tutorial on how I did my complete head. I'm just going to show you this back area because it's pretty much the same idea across the whole scalp. I will say that, you know, when parting my hair, I didn't really focus on precision. So my parts aren't really even, but I didn't really mind that. Like I said, I was just trying to get it done. But if you are really trying to have this style look really crisp, I recommend really focusing on your parts, making sure you know every braid is the same size, because this can look really, really good. Like it already looks bomb without all the precision, but it will look even time, ten times better with the precision. So yeah, so just working on the braid. Um, what else can I add? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah. Oh, what I didn't show in this clip is I did add little gold, you know, clips to my hair just to accessorize my hair. But you guys can find it at any beauty store. Um, I don't know the name. Maybe I can find the link and put a, a link in the description box. But you can add that and, you know, have, you know, be creative with it and really make the style look nice. So let me know what you guys think about this video. I'm going to put some pictures that you guys can look at of how my hair looked at the end of everything. Um, and you guys can tell me what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching, guys.